Hey guys, how's it going? Rangy here. Crip Perry in here. And we're gonna make something that I like and maybe I don't need, you no. don't you don't like so much, but we we'll, having to do it. It'll be so good we'll convert you. But uh, fine, sure. Pickles. But I'm willing to try. Pickles. He doesn't like pickles. Who doesn't like pickles? Me. We're you're from like Europe and stuff. You have to like pickles, otherwise you'd be dead. That's how it works over there. Well I'm pretty much alive, I think, so I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> anyway, so I did. We have two. Okay, you show them. You show them. What do we got? Whoa. Two um, little cucumbers mm -hmm. from our uh, greenhouse. Um, so, is there not enough for picking? I mean, we, we, we started. We wanted to pick it's these. It's a start, right? We wanted to pick these, but then we thought um, if we're doing the process, let's just. Yeah. So store pickle, not really store pickles. They're they're farmer pickles. They're pretty good, hopefully. Actually, I haven't tried one. They might be absolutely terrible. Mm, I don't know. And um, because I don't like pickles, so I'm not supposed to have a, a strong opinion. He did all the research, and he did actually hours of research. I think it's important. Okay, it's food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> All right, all right. Let me, let me talk. I'll, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll do the intro. Okay. So, uh, I'm your resident pickle expert. The good thing is the I'm other pink. resident knows nothing about pickles. So, all right. Um, so the few things that you need, uh, if you care to get started, uh, the first ingredient is you need jars, and it's good if you can get jars that have like the, the lid that seal. Uh, these were, they're like. Ten dollars or twelve dollars. They're about a dollar each, so they're not really much and I think these are good enough to reuse But the main thing that I learned from my research is there's like crazy variations to pickles Basically the only real thing that you need is some kind of vinegar Pickles and some kind of jar and some kind of patience. Salt too. Uh, even then it just use sugar like there's a lot of options like the quantities are just all over the place So you just didn't want to say salt Right. Anyway, so you need the jars, you need the pickles, more than those two. Oh, oh maybe not. You can just use two, I guess. Um, you can pickle anything you want with this recipe, from my understanding. Um, so we're going to throw in some peppers. Um, Carrots? Carrots, These yeah. are our peppers. Oh yeah, these are our peppers from the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of super chili peppers. And to preserve them, we just uh, put them in a jar just with... Um, well, these with are fresh. These are today's peppers. Yeah, vinegar. And salt. These are crazy hot. You wouldn't believe. We eat hot food all the time. Like I've, I've eaten just straight habaneros, and this is, this is around there. This is not. This is not <laughs> nothing to play with. Okay? They are very hot. Um, so we're gonna stick in some some garlic. We're gonna stick in some dill. But again, these are optional. These are just flavorings for the pickles. They will pickle if you use vinegar and some kind of salt or sugar. Honestly, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be much of a science. But um, yeah, um, and we got like these pickling spices. So, pickling spices vary. You can get the pickling spice packs at the store. They're probably a bit more expensive if you just buy the individual spices. But if you're curious on what you should buy, you can go to the store, you can see, find one of these, and then read the back. And then see if you like everything there, then you can buy that. And if you well, don't... The reason we bought that was that uh, originally we were planning to buy the individual spices that this has yeah. inside anyway. Do you want to read? No, read. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So this one, again, it, there's there's different versions of it. it. Has mustard seed. That's a popular one. Coriander, bay leaves, dill seed. Bay leaves. A, bay leaves. Yeah. <laughs> bay leaves is booze. Whatever. <laughs> so that's really where it ends on the standard. And this one has uh, fenugreek, cinnamon, ginger, allspice, red pepper, black pepper, cloves, and uh, some sunflower oil. Well, probably not not great to have in there, but whatever. It doesn't matter too much. So. Pickling is a two two day process. Um, so today we're uh, today, but you're gonna see tomorrow and like in a minute in the video. Mm -hmm. But uh, step one is if you want like really nice pickles, like really crunchy pickles, you don't want to cook them when you put the like boiling vinegar on them. Well, so to do that, we should mention that generally um, in pickling, one of your worst enemies is like. Little guys that might just infest the whole thing, like bacteria and yeah. things like that. So, in order to prevent them, one of the natural ways is to use heat. So, you are going to heat up the mixture, like the liquid, the, 
uh, vinegar with salt and spices before you put it in the jars um, but if you do that you might end up actually cooking the and they come up like real soft and yeah stuff. so what almost all the recipes that I've seen recommend is you get your you get your cucumbers you get these things these are like spiky and stuff so they, they kind of suck we have to like clean them so you clean them you cut them up in the pieces that you want you can cut them up any way you want you can put them whole but I wouldn't recommend something like that whole and then you put some salt on them but you gotta get salt that has no caking ingredients um, anti cake I don't know, one of those two. Anyway, so the salt that does that is uh, canning and pickling salt, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. I know salt with iodine doesn't work very well for this. It turns them like brown, black. Yeah, so that's that's like not a good one. Uh, anyway, so you put that on after you cut them up into the size that you want. Then you put them in the fridge for like 10, 12 hours. So they're pretty chill. And then um, when it comes to the actual, you know, putting them in the, in the cans or in the jars, and then putting the boiling vinegar mixture on top of them, they don't like cook because they're cold. Mm -hmm. They just like reach kind of a non-cooking, fairly warm temperature because they're already really cold. So that's how you want to do that. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right. Okay. Let's get some action. Oh, some action. Actually, these are pretty challenging because they got fine. Whatever. We're doing, we're doing one of these. They have a lot of spikes. I don't know why. We should cut ours differently. Yeah cutters a little bit differently. I think they might be pretty noticeable because they're going to be a bit thicker, but I'll see. I'll see. Ours have a lot of spikes and stuff. I just want to see how they compare yeah. to the other ones. Maybe we'll put them in different in a different jar and market. Um, so a lot of cucumbers have a lot of uh, imperfections that are very difficult to eat. And uh, apparently one of the best way to clean your cucumbers is to take them in a bag and put them in a washing machine. That's like the, the life hacking on the cucumbers apparently. But uh, we think that we don't want our clothes to smell like cucumbers for the rest of our existence. So we didn't go with that. Or have spikes. Or have spikes on the clothes, yeah. That might be some very uncomfortable <laughs> underwear. But uh, I don't know, this is, my, this is my first cucumber that I've cleaned. And it seems to work pretty well here. Big, big. It. I've, gotten, I've gotten rid of most of the spikes by just like going over them with a knife. See, it's like whatever coming off of them. So my plan is to do that. And then I'll just wash it real quick. I think. I think that's good. It's smooth. I could I could eat that I guess. Okay. So you wash them, you want to make sure it's fairly well rinsed, because especially cucumbers you're buying elsewhere, they might have um, you know pesticides and stuff on them. Not ours though. And also it's pretty important, uh, I read online to cut the flower. Mm, end this off. is this is pro pickling advice. So I actually don't know which one is the flower end. The one this that's one, not, yeah, that's not uh, attached to mm -hmm. the plant. But um, we're gonna cut off both ends just to be sh just just to be sure, just to be safe. I'm gonna cut that off. It smells like cucumbers. That smells nice. <laughs> that's not nice. So again, you can cut these any way you want. Uh, they said it's important to try to get the seeds out if they're bad, but these seeds seem very very soft so i don't think we need to do that okay how should we cut them for them to be unique should we do diagonal ones sure okay diagonal ones do you have to be vegan to like pickles i always liked pickles and burgers no don't you know when we went to romania my grandparents said that um it's really good to eat beans but when you eat beans if you don't want to fart all the time you have to eat beans with pickles well i don't like beans either so I guess I won't have these issues. Okay, so my cuts are obviously terrible because um, I cut these way thicker than those. But um, basically, it doesn't matter how you cut them. It doesn't matter very much at all. Uh, they're getting pickled in the end and a little bit of variation in the little pieces should be a good thing. So we're going to take that. I'm not going to do it right now, but we're just going to put some salt on them after we've got them all washed up. Let's get to work. That's what we got. We uh, cleaned them a little bit. We took off the bad parts and Rania cut them. And I was gonna cut them in like spears, like down the center, I was gonna cut them like that. 
and she started cutting them, and I'm like, okay, that just seems better. So, yeah, we just went with that. Um, so we put some salt on them. Some people wash the salt off before they put them in the jars, and um, I don't really understand the point of that, because we're putting salt in there anyway, and we like salty shit, so. <laughs> All Damn, right. I wasn't supposed to admit to that. <gasps> AFK. Picking part two? Day two. <laughs> All right, let's just see our pickles real quick. Okay. Pickles, come. They got like a little bit of water and stuff on the bottom. So we'll have to drain that a little bit, but uh, we want to keep them in the fridge for now because we've got to prepare everything else. So I'm kind of guessing that it's about three jars. You said about four or five, so we'll see who's mm -hmm. right. Okay. We're going to like guesstimate how much liquid we need. I think it's about 50% of the jar is liquid. Okay. So we got the uh, dill. Washed. Uh, uh, we got the garlic. I've been doing that here. I've been looking up some life hacks for garlic. We got uh, apple cider vinegar. And we got regular uh, pickling vinegar. No, it's, no, it's just the regular it's vinegar. It's just white vinegar. They had p pickling vinegar, but we read online that basically you can use whatever vinegar is fine. Uh, We're going to use yep. one quarter white vinegar, one quarter apple cider vinegar, and half water for the liquid. Okay. Um, we're going to throw in some peppers in there. These are from the garden. We obviously have a lot, so that's not really a big deal. Uh, we got some store brand carrots. We were uh, debating whether you should use some garden carrots. But I'm thinking that garden carrots might just be really nice to eat and flavor and stuff. And I think a lot of that is lost with pickling. So All right, fine. We'll just, we'll just Maybe next year we have more for pickling. Yeah. This is, this is my technique for garlic. Some of you guys are probably cringing. So I cut the top off because it's got that wooded piece. And that gives you the, the entry, entry point here. And then you just peel up a hand. My hands are already kind of sticky from this, but I like garlic. We'll see if Doug is like it. Well, Faye likes everything, but Dex, Dex might not. So that's, that's it's fine. my life hack. Wow. Dex doesn't care much about you anyway. Get, get hacked, garlic. Get <laughs> hacked. I said to put about four to five cloves, yeah, four to five per but jar. But it's like kind of a matter of taste, if you like it garlicky or not. Yeah, sure. Okay, so let's take out the pickles. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So, you're supposed to layer your creation a bit. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to not just drop in all the pickles and all the stuff at the start, except for the garlic. I think the garlic you are supposed to put in at the bottom. Okay. Four or five. So we have to, we have to stuff them in here. Probably a better way to do this. Yeah, I think if you tilt the jar, Sneak in some dill here, right in the center. I read it doesn't have to be a science. Peppers. I was thinking of cutting the pepper open a little bit. Fine. Okay, let's cut the pepper. Carrots, <laughs> carrots, I forgot carrots. That seems pretty good, doesn't it? Pretty filled up? I guess. I guess so. Well, I know you're supposed to jump them in, but that's mostly so they don't float and get outside of the liquid. Yeah. What about the spices? Are we boiling the thing with the spices? Oh yeah. Should I put the spices in here? I think we can put it on top and then we'll put the liquid on top of it. It'll spread. I like the next one, no carrots. Okay. And that was totally wrong. It's because the jars are thick, okay? Oh, right. I said it'll be like two or three jars. I said four or five. Okay. Three jars. That looks about 1.5 more jars. Might have to do some substitutions. Maybe not carrots. in line, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's going to be a little space. Let's get some tomatoes. Let's get it's the good. garden tomatoes. Okay. Should we get the small garden tomatoes too? Sure. That's what we got. Okay. I heard one tomato on the ground. One tomato escaped and ran under the fridge. I, I tried to stop it, but it was too fast. These are washed, right? These are washed. Just yes. like everything else, by the way. Yes. Okay. You know who's getting the tomato out of the fridge, right? 
Pay. Pay, of course. <laughs> All right. Now, the other thing I said that it's probably 50% liquid. I also think I'm probably wrong about that, but what's the harm? Let's do the spices on top so we're like fully ready for the liquid. All right. Smells nice. Mm. Okay, it does. Okay. I think it was. Bring them here. I think the recipe was um, five tablespoons to eight cups of liquid or something. But Just put a cup in. Exactly. Exactly. I'm nervous here. These are my first pickles, okay? Okay, so now we need the pickle filler. So originally I thought that these would be about 50% liquid. You think they're less? Let's do three jars of liquid then for five. Okay. So it's a little over half because if we undershoot it, we're kind of screwed, right? Yep. Let's shake that spice down a little bit first. Get all the nooks and crannies. This is great, by the way. They're art pieces. Look at that. So much <laughs> color. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay. So forgot the most important ingredient. Salt. Oh, right. Yeah. Now, uh, again, who knew? Salt is like, I'm sure someone out there is going to go crazy. You have to put that exact number of salt to that much liquid. Just chill out, okay? Uh, I saw recipes with like extreme differences in salt. I'm not good at this. You're not good at salt? No, I'm right. not good at salt. Right. Is that so hard to believe? That looks like plenty of salt. There. Seems good? I have no idea. I have no idea either. Okay. okay. I like this improv cooking a lot. Okay, so we're gonna base our measurements off of them filling up to about half. So we want three jars of stuff. So, damn, three is kind of a weird number. So we want 50% water, so we want one and a half jars of water. Mm -hmm. Let's just get started with our pot here. So we're using um, bottled water because we have a water softener. And the water softener just uh, tastes bad. It tastes bad, but it's, it also uses salt to filter it out. So so much salt in this video. I imagine it's probably not great. <laughs> okay, so that's one water. So, but what I did see is like all the recipes had half water, half some sort of vinegar. Mm -hmm. So that does seem to be pretty important. Okay. So here we're going for two thirds. More like three fourths. Vegan math. Wow, this one smells like wine. It's like you're peeing in a pool. It is. filling this halfway now. Yep. Damn, that smells really good. There has to be something else we could do with this. Alright, so the recipe is get it to a boil, let it simmer for 15 minutes, and then dunk it in and fill it to, into about an inch from the top of the jar, and then we're going to have a, a little bit of a trick to uh, mm -hmm. vacuum seal them after that. Okay. All right, let's get started. They do it right. Hi. Good. Boiling. Ready? Okay. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that's hot. That's really hot. Okay. So we did this in order to try not to make much of a mess. We might fail that mission. Let's make them not very full. Am I failing? Not horribly. Okay, not horribly. Good. I'll take that. Is that good or more than that? A little bit more? I think I would uh, go up to like where it's... yeah. Yeah. There. Perfect? I think so. Okay. I want to seal in the heat as soon as possible. Right. So the but trick is... We need is... to be able to open them, right? <laughs> we'll see about that. The trick is to put them upside down. Hopefully the seal holds. I can't seal it better than that, so... There. 
Right. So we're going to cool them and then we're going to store them in a dry, cool area, probably our basement. And most people say you can eat them after about a week. Some people say they're really good after two weeks. Uh, I think the, the most common number of days I saw was 10. So probably a week and a half. If you're impatient, wait a week and a half. But uh, I don't think it hurts to wait more than that. The shelf life is pretty strong on these, I believe. Okay, I'll tell you what. I will try your pickles. Did I sell you? Yes. I think half, half a jar of liquid is a good estimate. Yeah, I think half a jar is a little over. I don't know if you're supposed to <laughs> do Mix that. Them all up. Till next time, guys.